Hi guys, today we're doing three DIYs perfect for a Minnie Mouse birthday party. I'm doing this Minnie Mouse floral number, obviously in the number two, but you could do any number you want, as well as this ornament perfect as a party favor, and these Minnie Mouse paper pinwheels that look so sweet when hung from the ceiling. You've got to try these. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing Minnie Mouse birthday DIYs. I've got some decorations, a favor. I'm in the middle of planning my daughter's second birthday and we're doing a Minnie Mouse theme. I'll put a link below to my Minnie Mouse playlist. We've done pinatas, a birthday cake. You wanna check that out. Today we're doing a Minnie Mouse floral number. So sweet and cute. I'm also making a little Minnie Mouse ornament as a favor and we've got some Minnie Mouse paper pinwheels that you can hang from the ceiling. Really quick, really easy, super inexpensive. Let's get started. We're gonna start with the pinwheels. This is what they look like before you get started. I got these at a local dollar store and this is very typical of this type of product where you fold it around to make the circle. I'm peeling the back of the sticky part here that's gonna help the two sides adhere to one another. Now I have my circle, I'm gonna do it to both. We're doing a pink, purple, and orange theme. That's why I went with these colors. I think it's super punchy and fun for Minnie Mouse. And now I need to make the ears. I'm using black construction paper and I'm just tracing a circle using a paper plate. I'm making two and I need two ears per pinwheel so I'm cutting out four circles and when I'm done with that I'm going to attach them to the back side of the paper pinwheel using some hot glue. I like using hot glue for projects like this because it dries almost immediately and it's super strong. So there we go just a few lines of hot glue and I'm simply tucking it right below and it's already adhered. I'm gonna do this on the other side and then I'm going to do this again to my purple pinwheel and that's all there is to it. Since this is Minnie Mouse, I'm going to add a bow. I'm using some glitter paper that I got at the Dollar Tree to make my bows and I just cut them out and I'm adhering them on top again with hot glue right in the center. Very pretty and these colors just look so beautiful together. I'm gonna hang these from the ceiling in a corner at the party, really pretty. Now I'm gonna make my ornament. I'm using felt to make the ears to the ornaments and I'm using a quarter here as my guide and we need two ears per ornament, a little line of hot glue, glue those ears onto a little mini ornament and I added a bow that I just tied out of some ribbon. Again, used hot glue and that's all there is to that. Her party is in December, so this is a perfect ornament. And finally, I'm doing the floral number. I'm using some craft foam and just tracing out the number. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna cover this all up with flowers. You're not gonna see the lines. So I'm just getting my basic two shape here and I'm freehanding it. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to simply cut it out carefully. The foam can crack or break if you're not a little bit careful with it. So I will pay attention to what I'm doing. And I'm using a white craft foam for this project because I think it's a nice neutral background. But for the ears, I'm also going to use craft foam. And when I do the ears, I'm going to use black so I get that classic Mickey ear look. To make this floral number, I used 10 bunches of flowers. I got my flowers at the Dollar Tree, so I paid just a dollar a bunch, and I found 10 bunches to be just fine. It covered my number. Particularly, I think it covered well because I also am going to use the leaves of these stems. You'll see that at the end. So I'm saving every part of these flowers. And I'm starting by, I take a bud and I place it and then I place the same bud somewhere else on the number so that I get an even disbursement of colors and shapes and sizes. And I'm adhering them with the hot glue again. And I'm just going bit by bit. I don't wanna put all of my flowers in one spot and then move on to another spot because I want it to look even and consistent. So I'm moving around the number as I go and eyeballing it to make sure I like the patterns and the flow of colors. You'll see I've got a big mix of flowers here. I like that look, but this would look beautiful as well if you chose all just one flower, all roses, all carnations. And now I'm going in and I'm filling in any blank spots I have with the leaves. This is a great trick. You don't have to buy as many flowers when you do this and you can glue down the leaves to fill in any blank spots. 
Now I'm making those ears. I'm just tracing two circles using a steel mixing bowl. And I'm gonna cut my ears out. And once again, I will use the hot glue to adhere those to the number. Hot glue is a crafting genius. And that's really all the steps to this project. It looks way more complicated, way more time intensive than it actually is. You can buy these online at boutiques on Etsy for far more than what it will cost to actually make this. I did this for my daughter's first birthday last year. It wasn't a Minnie Mouse theme, so I didn't do it Minnie Mouse, but I loved it last year. I love it this year. It's just beautiful. There you have it. How simple was that? These look so sweet. They're gonna be really beautiful for the birthday party, and I know you can do this in just a little bit of time. Let me know in the comments below what themes you're working on for your kid's birthday party. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that red subscribe button if you wanna see more like this. I have a ton more Minnie Mouse birthday stuff coming up, as well as holiday DIYs, and I'm doing videos every single week. I'll see you next time. Bye.